Good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, how y'all doing today? Well, I'm doing um, a little better than I was on yesterday or the day before. So every day is a new day. And I'm so glad and grateful to be on this side of the dirt. That I can't complain, really. Um, Because really, life owes me nothing. I I owe all my existence to life. Okay, because um, out of all those million little sperms that my pop let off, and that one little egg, and they hit, and pop, go the weasel, here I come. I know good and well that I'm supposed to be here. Anything else is just trivial. And that's basically how I feel. However, let me do this, y'all, because you know, is in Wisconsin, as a lot of y'all know, we had a vote off as vote two um, on yesterday, the twelfth of August. I submitted early voting, absentee voting, um, which I usually do because I'm usually working the polls, as I stated probably on many occasions before. But what happened in Wisconsin was pretty damn interesting, okay, because we had, you know, first of all, there's two, a lot of y'all have heard of Senator Lena Taylor, and who um, they've been trying to get out of here in, uh, for quite some time here in uh, Wisconsin, uh, state legislator, state senator, um, and there's another state challenge, well, uh, she uh, won her primary and she held off a challenge and her name is Latanya Johnson and actually her and Lena Taylor don't like each other at all. And these are two black women that are state senators. So this is a very interesting article that came out of the Journal Sentinel yesterday because I think it's gotten to the point where it's so crazy that Latanya has called Lena toxic and also decided to put her campaign in support for Mayor Tom Barrett, who's ran in Milwaukee for six consecutive terms. And we are leading the nation in everything negative for black people, everything you could possibly imagine. So, um, it was already done, in my opinion, uh, out of spite because they don't care for one each other, another too much. And like I said, again, this is two black women that are state senators. And it's really, to me, disheartening. So Lena Taylor had her assistant or one of her, I don't know, field directors, whatever, run against Latanya Johnson and challenge her for her uh, seat. And she did lose. So this, the, the state of the Democratic Party in, in uh, Wisconsin is a little crazy to me. Um, Milwaukee Democratic State Senator Latanya Johnson survived the primary challenge Tuesday, as did three Republicans from the area. Former state Representative Kelda Roy's of Madison also won a seven-way Democratic primary to succeed Democratic Senator Fred Reiser of Madison, who is retiring after more than six damn decades in the legislature. You think he has six de- six decades in the legislature? Way too long. Like Tom Barrett, too long. We need new blood. Come on, we need to get out and encourage these young people to take these seats, y'all. Y'all can't sit up here forever and ever and ever and just make a career out of this. You know what I mean? Hello? Listen, I'm I'm doing a video right now. I'll call you right back. Okay. So um, candidates who moved forward in Tuesday's partisan primary now turned their sights to the November 3rd general election when the turnout 
and voting by mail are expected to sharply rise as voters cast their ballots in the presidential race. Okay? So, uh, Latanya Johnson and her challenger was Michelle Bryant. Um, and uh, they, 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 they ran... They run in the Democratic primary for the state Senate seat. So, uh, Senate State Senate District Six, Johnson warded off challenge by Michelle Bryant. She's the chief of staff for Lena Taylor. She will face um, Republican candidate Al Creo Deacon to represent the district that covers part of Milwaukee's north and west sides. Johnson says she was pleased with her victory and criticized Taylor for Brian even getting to the race in the first place. She accused Lena Taylor of getting involved because Johnson took Taylor's seat on the legislators' budget committee. And Johnson endorsed Milwaukee's mayor, Tom Barrett, when Taylor challenged him this spring. This challenge was all about retaliation. It had absolutely nothing to do with me, my work ethic, Johnson said. I'm done with keeping Lena's behavior a secret. I'm not doing it anymore. Taylor dismissed Johnson's criticism and Johnson said Johnson was frustrated that attention had been brought on legislation Johnson backed that set mandatory minimum sentences for violent offenders caught with guns. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> the senator just doesn't like being called out. I get it. That's what Taylor said. Um. Again, she said it frustrated her because the attention had been brought on her because she backed that set mandatory minimum sentence for violent offenders caught with guns. Uh, poof. So, again, of course, Peppa, get out. Go, Peppa. Go. So, of course, that was that. And, um, you know, Lena Taylor is still there. We got a Republican incumbent, Robert Brooks. He survived the primary challenge, challenge from a guy named Chris Reamer. Uh, again, a lot of um, um, Caucasian people, uh, not all throughout the state, because we only have a few cities that black people reside in the state of Wisconsin, and that is racing. City of Beloit, City of Kenosha, and um, shit, that's probably it. Milwaukee, which is the biggest. So, we'll, out of all this Wisconsin, it's only about four uh, uh, cities that have um, a black population. Rest of all these thousands of cities throughout, they don't. Um, Adams County is one of the first uh, rural counties in Caledonia where black farmers uh, inhabited. But other than that, Wisconsin is predominantly a white state. And that's why a lot of people, when they think about Wisconsin or Milwaukee, they think about Laverne and Shirley or whatever because they're thinking about the whole of the state. But Milwaukee is a majority black. It's a major metropolitan city. Okay? Um, what I didn't know was that uh, Bo Black passed away. And um, so I want to give my condolences to the black family. Bo Black was the director of the Summerfest Grounds, and she was very instrumental in creating um, a lot of stuff. In Summerfest, she hired my friend's son every summer, a couple of his, some, uh, his friend, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, she and his friends, my, um, a couple of my friends who were single 
black fathers. She kind of like adopted their sons, is what I'm trying to say. Um, Bo Black was very innovative. Um, I have nothing but respect for Bo Black. And um, I had no idea she passed away. So my condolences go to the Black family. And, um, you know, may she rest in peace. She had, uh, I think I met her kids one time. Um, Kelly, Blake, Stephanie. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. But <clears throat> she resigned from Summerfest and went on to do other things. And um, so she was also a Playboy bunny at one time. Uh, it's like, what was the Summerfest without Bo Black? Um, and unfortunately, she passed away. Now, Um, secondly, I told y'all about our police chief here, and, um, I'm going to be back with a follow-up to that story in the next video.